It's college lacrosse time, but the weather here in Ithaca, absolutely miserable. Fog, rain, and cold conditions, hardly a May day. It's a far cry from the conditions of the Carrier Dome. That's the last time the Orange played a first round NCAA tournament game back in 1991. Now, this season has not been easy for Syracuse. Just look at the last game of the regular season. It took a Casey Powell last second goal against UMass to send that game into overtime. The Minutemen thought they had the win. And the fans were certainly going crazy at the Dome. Into the OT, Rob Calvin, the junior attackman from Yorktown Heights in Yorktown, New York, got free and was able to put a loose ball into the UMass goal. But the Orangemen won that game 10-9, 9-3 on the regular season, but not good enough to make the top four spots. So now they've got to play today in the first round of the 1996 NCAA Tournament. The Army Cadets with a record of 10-4 taking on the Syracuse Orangemen today with a record of 9-3. Our game site, Sholkoff Field in Ithaca. Hi again, everybody. Welcome to Sewers Force coverage. I'm asking you lacrosse. Dave Ryan alongside Dale Drypulcher. We're a little cold up here, Dale. we got to stay warm. Weather conditions, as we saw in the opening of the broadcast today, pretty lousy. Rainy, about 50 degrees. Slick conditions on the field. Most people said we're lucky that at least it's AstroTurf. That's true. It would be an awful game without it. I don't know who this favors. It could be Army. It could be Syracuse. you got to kind of change your game a little bit. The ball has a tendency to stay in doesn't go out, as, uh, out of bounds as easily, and it doesn't bounce as well. So they're going to have to adjust as they see what the, the, the field conditions are like. We know the cadets with a 12 seed have not been in the NCAA tournament for a few years. They're very excited to be here. This team likes to hit. Very big and physical, and the Orangemen have a bit of concern about that. Well, I walked by the Army team. They are big, and they got big calves and uh, big muscles, kind of guys you want in your Army. But uh, one of the things that Jack Emmer told me, he said, we're not as physical as everybody thinks. He said, we'll take a hit, but he said, that's not our only weapon. So uh, let's look to see what develops for Army. And not exactly a home field advantage for the Orangemen about an hour and a half down the road with some hometown folks here to root them on today. Oh, absolutely. And you know, this separates your quasi-lacrosse fan from your real lacrosse fan. <laughs> it is awful out here. And uh, that could be a factor because I don't think the crowd is going to be into it at all. All right. We are looking forward to it. A face-off coming up in a couple moments from Sholkoff Field here in Ithaca. It's Syracuse against Darby in the 1996 NCAA Tourney. Welcome back, everybody. Cloudy skies above. Sholkoff Field in Ithaca. The Cornell campus set for NCAA Tournament Lacrosse. And Syracuse gets set to take on the cadets of Army. Coming in ranked number 15 in the latest U.S. ILA poll with a 10 and 4 record. Let's check out the starting lineups. First of all, for the visitors. They're wearing their visiting black jerseys, the road uniforms. The Army Cadets are the Black Knights, and they're led by Hadlock, Brostick, and Manning. Now, Brostick and Manning are both Central New York products on attack and players to watch. Yastrzemski, Kopa, and Pavlik on the midfield. Brian Pavlik has 23 goals this year. On defense, a long stick player to watch definitely in this game, Brendan Sheehan. He is one of the best, they say, along with Whaley and Dave Crossett, who's from East Syracuse Manoa High School in Central New York. Travis Loving is the goalie. He's a co-captain and a senior at 6 foot, 185 pounds. Army Cadets, led by the veteran coach Jack Emmer, who has 249 career wins, trying for the big milestone today. He'll be facing the Syracuse Orangemen, and the lineups stand like this. Rob Calvin, Jim Morrissey, and Doug Jackson at attack. Powell Kotaya and Andy Sheritz will play midfield for Syracuse today, and their head coach Roy Simmons, Jr., Checking out the defense now as the Orangemen are led by some seniors and a lot of good defensive strength. These guys have improved. Fatopoulos, Denver, and Smiley, and Jason Gebhardt in goal for head coach Roy Simmons, Jr., the Hall of Famer, going against a pretty good coach in his own right, and Jack Emmerdale, Dry Poulter, a couple of guys who have won a lot of lacrosse games. They have, and they're both nice guys, easy to talk to and very cooperative before the game. Right away, Army cooperates by uh, causing... Uh, the ball to go to Syracuse, illegal procedure on the face. Syracuse gets a free faceoff. Ryan McCormick took the faceoff, Dale, for the cadets. And the procedure call benefiting Toby Price in the yards and Syracuse on the first attack. Cavett behind the goal. Last time you saw him in action, the game winner you saw in the opener of the broadcast against UMass. What a thrilling game that was. Sent the crowd into a frenzy. Jim Morris, the senior captain. We'll see how the weather conditions affect this turf surface, and it is artificial, so that's good for Syracuse. Kataya going in, that shot wide of the goaltender, Travis Loving, out of bounds. Syracuse still has it on the attack. Back up quickly by Kavavit. He'll get the ball. One thing we mentioned, Dave, the ball does have a tendency to stay in bounds, so uh, that's something they're going to have to adjust to. Rob Cavett behind the cage. Now, yesterday when the team practiced here on Sholkoff Field, warm conditions, 78 degrees and sunny. So you talk about a big change. There's Doyle carries behind the goal. Cross it on him. Young man I had in class at East Syracuse Manoa. There you go. Syracuse patient on the first attack play of this game here today. 
1996 NCAA tourney. It's been so long since they played a first round game. None of the guys in the field involved with that. Cabot backs in, spin shot, and Loving able to trap it in between his cross and his body, and he'll go for the outlet play to Sheehan. Syracuse putting a hard right on right away with these conditions, trying to force a bad pass off the AstroTurf. Right now, Army just going to try to get it clear up. Oh, turnover. Joe Whaley trying to get that across. Lost it. A lot of hard hitting at midfield. Morrissey comes away with it. There is a whistle, a penalty flag drop, and we've got our first call of the game coming up. It's going to be an illegal check, and that's going to... Let's see what happens. Down right there. Loses the... There's the check right there. Too high. So Syracuse will get their first man up opportunity with, what, a minute and uh, 24 gone in this first period. So Syracuse man up. One minute penalty. The legal body check is the call against the cadets. Rob Manning, who is the senior leader on his team from West Genesee High School in Camillus, takes the penalty. So Syracuse in good shape early on. So far, Army hasn't even had the ball in the offensive zone. The Orange Men are man up. We'll try to take advantage here and take a lead. Doug Jackson is in on the man up situation. He plays a lot for the Orange in this instance. Junior from JD High School. Casey Powell gets shoved. Good defense. Defensive minis and the man down set up in for Army. Just under two minutes into our first quarter. Doyle can't pull the trigger. In front, they get a goal. What a great pass. Finishing the play, Doug Jackson, Cavett, and DJ work the play to perfection on the one time, and the Orange men have a 1 0 lead. You're absolutely right, and Loving stepped out, number one. Watch Loving come out a little bit here. The pass goes behind, and there's the quick return. Loving comes out, commits himself, but uh, they got the shot over Loving's head, and Doug Jackson puts it in the hole for goal number one. Watch Loving, watch him come out, watch the goalie. He's gonna step out, and when he does, he leaves the top of the cage open. He's not a tall guy, and they got it over his head. McCormick wins the faceoff for Army. Streaks in, shoots that one wide of Jason Gebhard. And McCormick pays a big price as Mike Smiley, all 6'6", 220 of them, came over and leveled Ryan McCormick after he got the shot off. Can I correct myself there? Loving six foot tall. He didn't look that big, but he is. But <laughs> the goalie, when he stood up, I said I better check that. Ryan Pavlik, who was a senior at midfield, number 24, a player to watch in this game. Ross Jastrzemski, number 16, will operate out of the midfield as well. He's the highest scoring midi in Army history. This year he's put in 26 goals. They've got a lot of firepower on this team, Dale. A lot of guys who could put it in the net. Yastrzemski backs in, trying to get a shot off. Left-handed shot goes wide and backed up nicely by Army's Chad Hadlock. Not a particularly strong shot, but you're right, uh, they, they get a lot of firepower and uh, they're gonna play their tempo and that's exactly what Syracuse stressed. Basic defense, get on the hands, keep on the stick, guard the stick, nothing Different, you know, nothing tricky defense, but you got to play good basics against Army. Hadlock in the left wing, taking that pass from Dan Brostick. He's a Beville product, so a lot of Central New York talent in action for the Army Cadets today. Pavlik, top of the box, trying to get free. Good defense by Matt Alexander, freshman D midi for Syracuse. And Hadlock again in the left wing. Smiley's on him, got a big height advantage. Chad Hadlock, about 5'10, Smiley almost 6'7. Hadlock gets a move, puts it off the top of the crossbar. Was that in the goal is a question. No. Looks like no goal and a crease violation against Army. That was awfully close in the orange, but able to dodge a bullet tail. Well, yeah, it was not a real strong shot, but it looked like it was going to go in. Watch, goes up top, hits it down. Just the bad angle, Army had a little better bounce. They might have gotten a goal, and then uh, they went into the crease, and Syracuse got the ball back, but you can see how close that was. Good break for the Orange, but still a 1-0 lead, 11-24 and counting in the first quarter. Syracuse a favorite in this game, but Army comes in having won a quote-unquote scoreless scrimmage they had in February. But they actually got more goals scored in the game they played at West Point. So the teams know each other a bit. Army likes to slow it down and try to force the opposing offense into a slowdown type game. They're 6-0 in holding the opposing offense to 10 goals or fewer. Pass to Price in the slot. His shot saved nicely by Loving, who came out and made a good stick save. Doyle, the backup for Syracuse, keeps it alive. Syracuse just running a 1-4-1. They had four guys stacked up in front of the crease, just cutting and picking, cutting and picking. They got open, but Doyle shot didn't go. Doyle backs in, Dale, and puts that one wide of Loving as well. Good backup by Jim Morrissey, and the Orange still have it. 
So a lot of pressure on Travis Loving in the Army defense early. Syracuse not really wasting a lot of time and firing off some shots. Syracuse takes a lot of shots, and you know their philosophy had been and we, the more shots we take, the more goals we're going to get, but they have not been quite as efficient this year in that department. Morrissey and Price, but a whistle first before he could put it on his cross. Pick. Interference. And pick is call against the Orange. Syracuse will bring on the long stick defensive middies in this instance. Chris McCartan, number 18, has done a good job at D midi this year for Syracuse. Is on. That play right to another good D midi and Cummings from Nottingham High School. Ryan Cummings, the intercept. He'll feed to Morris. He fires a shot just wide of Loving. And the backup made by Syracuse. You're absolutely right. They did a nice job of getting the D guys in, and then they have to turn offense. You, you, don't, uh, you don't get to play just defense or offense anymore, especially with the non-release rule. You really have to be able to Unsettled play both. Unsettled situation there, Dale. Lucky break for Army as Doyle had that go off his cross. He was wide open. Army was late in getting their long stick defensive players on the field. Always a strategy, shuffling players in and out. Joe Whaley, number 46, on close defense, came on too late. Rob Cavett never wanted to waste time. Fired a pass to an open Doyle, but he just missed it off his cross in the one-time attempt. Casey Powell's on for Syracuse. Jack Emmer said that's the guy we really want to take care of defensively. Orange again on the attack. So far, it's been mostly Syracuse controlling this game offensively. Kutaya shot whistles wide of Loving out of bounds. And again, Cavett, the feeder behind the cage, is the man in the backup. An injury timeout. Yeah, I didn't like see anybody. KG Dorzik is shaken up. Dorzik might have just been his ankle. He planted it, and uh, the surface a little bit slick. He put his ankle down or put his foot down. It looks like it gave. He didn't. I didn't see him get hit. He's a six foot, 177 pounder from Smithtown on the island. KJ Dorzik. And he's up, but he's uh, gimping a little bit on that left ankle. The. Army defense jumping from the crease that time. Got there in time to force the shot a little bit wide, but Syracuse taking good advantage of the picks that they have set. And uh, Dorzik perhaps uh, planning, trying to move off a pick, has uh, hurt his ankle and will be out for at least a little while. And Ryan McCormick will come on for him. He is their faceoff specialist and can also play some defensive midfield. Steady rain continues to fall. Syracuse a 1 0 lead, 9 30 and counting in the first quarter. Doug Jackson off the bench, receives the pass, top of the box. McCormick on him. And Army in the man-to-man. -man. So far, not a lot of hits. We saw one early, though, the illegal check that gave SU the man up. And the Orange cashed in on a great goal and feet in front. Doug Jackson scoring from Cavett. Morrissey in the right wing controls, and Syracuse again. Works around the perimeter, trying to get that high percentage shot off. Waiting to get the matchups. They got a short stick here on Jackson. Here's Doug Jackson. Starts the attack. Gets a step on McCormick. Bounce shot goes high over Loving. And it's backed up by the senior captain from Skenny Atlas, Jim Morrissey. Joe Whaley from Army did a nice thing there. You, you won't see it perhaps in the highlighted films, but he jumped over and made the shot go wide. That's the kind of thing the defensive guy has to do. Helps the team. Jim Morrissey with 103 career goals as an Orangeman. 15th on the all-time list, 168 points with the senior captain. He has had quite a career. Against Syracuse, very patient on offense. Just an iso. Feed behind the cage. Cavett tries a tough angle shot, goes wide of loving. And again, Morrissey there for the back. You can see the strategy there. They tried to get Brendan Sheehan to jump. He did. They tried to shoot where he had been. Uh, they got a shot off, but it was wide. But they're trying to get it. Here's a nice move. Jackson in the slot shoots. Loving up to the task, though, with a nice save. And then an outlet. Great play by Loving. And then on the other end, Casey Powell, the strip from behind, makes a fantastic play on Chris Carano. It was the All-American defensive midi of Army. What a job by Powell to strip it. And you're right, and, and that's the thing where you're a defensive guy who's got to play offense, and uh, that's exactly what he did. He changed from offense to defense, and watch him strip right there with the one-hand check off the Army man, and uh, just a great job. Now he gets to go back and get the ball play offense. Passes back to the goalie to set things up. Jason Gebhardt and Smiley will try to work out of this ride defensive army. Oh. Fatopoulos was the intended receiver of that pass. Smiley, though, had it broken up. Good pressure defense. Smiley double team. Army able to kick that loose on the far side. Ball still loose, and it goes to Syracuse. Now, that's a scouting play. You know that they figured that if they could get the long pass that they could get on Smiley, who's 6'6", with that big stick, he's the guy maybe they figured that they can get to and force they take the hit on the sideline, but Syracuse does get the ball, but you can see the strategy there was to ride him hard and make Smiley handle the ball. 
Now they're double teaming. The ball coming in. Kevin Haygardy was one of the players involved, along with number 10, Stephen Vergamini, who is from Auburn. He's a freshman. Or as they say in the service, he's fourth year, which kind of is the backwards count they've got in the Army. If you're a senior, you're a first year, the exact opposite. Or a plebe as a freshman, which is not a good thing to be. You're nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. You are dirt. <laughs> Matt Doyle in the offensive end. Low scoring game, which Army has to like. I imagine Jack Emmer's pleased to be just one goal down. And the game really has been dominated offensively by Syracuse in terms of possession time. That's a good point. Cavett backs in on Brendan Sheehan. So Sheehan is the top defensive long stick that Coach Emmer has got. And he's going to match up with Rob Cavett today. Syracuse on attack, Casey Powell. I see they're going to jump and force a bad pass. And there it is. Yep. Sheehan stepped right in front of Cavett, did a good job to screen him. Rob never saw that one come at him, and Army will get the ball on the turnover. Nice jump by Army, and they, they got to the Syracuse player, made him pass it out, out of bounds. Coach Jack Emmer, former Cortland State coach, 13th season at Army. At Cortland, he was 32-6. and six. Went Beat to Syracuse Washington twice, and I think, sure yeah. yeah. He had quite a career and has done a great job at Army as well, obviously, with some big numbers. Rob Lands into the game number 19, second line midfield, along with Ross Strzemski. Lands, in this instance, will come off. And Army resets. Pavel top of the box. First, the whistle. And with 6.34 to go in the period. Looks like Syracuse ball. gets another I turnover. Even, I did not see what happened. I'll be honest with you, Dave. I did not even, all I heard was the whistle. Cummings brings it across the midfield line. And Syracuse has possession. Jim Morrissey behind the goal. You know, one of the things when you're playing this kind of a game, you have to be able to adjust flag down now. Let's see. Andy Sheritz was carrying. Procedure. So Syracuse would get another man up opportunity. I believe 30 second yeah. procedure call goes against the cadets. And we'll see who the guilty party is. Going to have to sit out for half a minute. The Orangemen scored on their last man up opportunity in this game. Hadlock is Chad Hadlock out. is coming out. He so is on attack. Yep. So Syracuse will start on top and have 30 seconds. So that had to be a violation off the ball. Yeah. Procedure call goes against the cadets officially. 32nd man up now for the Orange. Syracuse, three guys out up on top. An aggressive yeah. man down situation D here for Army coming so right at the Orange. Almost man to man. Yeah. Syracuse behind the cage. Casey Powell trying to back in behind the back shot. Rings off the side of the net and the post as he got both and lost his stick. He's and playing with the ball. That's going to be a violation. <laughs> he, stepped, he also kicked the ball. Yeah. But you can kick the ball, but you have to have your stick in your hand, <laughs> and he did not. So that'll be Army's ball. Carano starts play off, gets hammered on the far side by Doyle. Great defensive job, and Casey Powell picks up the loose ball. Casey to the offensive end, feeding. Behind the goal now, the Orangemen will reset. Rob Cavett trying to get his offense to settle down. He's the field general out there, feeder behind the goal in the Orange offensive set. Five and a half to go in the first quarter. Still just a 1-0 Syracuse lead. Doug Jackson, the only goal of this game so far. When you get into one of these games, you have to be patient. You can't get frustrated when you're Syracuse. And they've had a number of them this year, so they should be used to this kind of a pace. Running their half-field offense. Jackson, a fellow attacking Cavett, back to DJ. And he will again set from the goal line extended to the right of Loving. Feeding a double team. Doyle couldn't find that on his cross, and it comes away to Carano. He'll out that the other way, and one more time, here comes Brendan Sheehan with a long stick. Good move by Sheehan, right by Jim Morrissey. And he feeds off to Ross Strzemski on midfield. Open his Pavlik on the right wing, thought about a shot, didn't squeeze the trigger Ooh. though. He had a step or two yeah. on his defensive player. They yeah. lost him in the shuffle coming in, and Syracuse did not have him covered, Dave. You're right, I thought he should have pulled it. He thought he had a little bit of an angle, but uh, he didn't do it. So Army slows it down, 4.20. Five left, first quarter, one nothing lead. Dostrevsky trying to get a bounce shot off top of the box. Nice job by Gebhardt to collect that one on a save. It is outlet pass too high for Powell. Picked off by Rob Cavett. Works to Casey Powell on the fly. Gets by one man. Casey still with it. Left-handed shot. I couldn't quite pull the trigger. Checked at the last moment. Casey nearly made an acrobatic play to get a shot off at all. Fantastic move. A lot of guys on him. 
Pavlik in an unsettled situation. Tries to feed off Yastrzemski. Passing shot there from the left Good side. Save. Saved again. What a play made by Jason Gebhardt on Dan Brostick. He was denied at point blank range. Morrissey the other way for Syracuse. Feeding to Doyle. Low shot. That one wide of loving. And I'll tell you, Dale, a lot of action, but no scoring in this game. Right. It's picked up a lot. Uh, a lot of sprinting up and down the field. You know, both teams are in good shape physically. They've last game of the season for somebody. you got to be in good shape. Save so far. Army up in that department, 3-2. Syracuse leads the shots category, 11-5, but just one goal has gone in. That from Doug oh, Jackson. Nice cut. Toby Price on the cut. Can't get a clean shot off, though. Doing a nice job there when the orange cutters come down with the ball of checking immediately so they can't get a clean shot away. Right, they, uh, they are getting sticks up on people and able to get some uh, some body position and stay in between your body, between your man and the goal, and Syracuse will get the ball back after this uh, Army timeout. So 3.26 to go in our first quarter, a 1-0 game at Chokoff Field in Ithaca, where a steady rain has been falling all day long. After a beautiful day here yesterday, Central New York weather can change anytime. First year as a starter, Jason Gebhardt, sophomore goalie for the Orange, has done a great job, Dale, I'll tell you, with oh, some yeah. super saves. Yeah, that, that one he saw all the way. Those, you know, you expect to make, but he, uh, the left hand to come up, and this is the ones you say, how did he do this? He just concentrates, gets the stick in the right spot. Now, the important thing, see what he does there? He gets the rebound. Those are the ones you lose, and they say, great save. Oh, number four kicked it in, and you feel like a fool. So uh, he did a great job. He controlled the rebound. I think he's improved. Not only doing that, but doing the outlet passes since we first saw him early in the season. He's really improved tremendously. Jason Gebhardt had his 200th save of the season against UMass. He is 20th in the NCAA in save percentage. Ground balls, Syracuse dominating that stat so far. And it's always interesting to see with the water really falling now, starting to collect. <laughs> you can see the shot there right by the Army bench in the several portions of the field. It's puddling now, and that could be a big factor with ground balls. Harvard and uh, Hofstra squeegeed a little bit of it off, and they <laughs> fell. <laughs> they could slide for life there. It was a very interesting game, and uh, it, it was kind of a harbinger of things to come, that the ball is going to do some weird things. As you can see it piling up, it does have a tendency to stay on the carpet. So that ground ball might remain a ground ball a lot longer. So far, Syracuse, as you said, able to dominate in that category. And in a close game, in a slow game, that's the kind of statistic you like. 3.26 to go in the first. Just a 1-0 game. Doug Jackson getting the goal. A lot of opportunities for the Orange, but I'll tell you, Loving has not had to make a lot of great saves because of the good collapsing defense by Army in front. You're right. They have been doing that, and they've been able to get stick on stick. Let's see what they do now. The Orangemen also have missed the net several times on shots from in close. Kutai will trigger now behind the cage. Good spin move. Freshman from Homer. Nice pass to Cavett. Oh, right by Matt Doyle. Ball is loose. Brostick and Manning going for it. A lot of physical play, and Fotopoulos runs it down for the Orange. They are going to really ride the Syracuse team. This Gebhardt's is where they pass, want it. Way too high right there. for the 6'6". Mike Smiley out of bounds. And here come the cadets. They forced that long pass. They turned right around from offense to defense. And they knew what to do. And they got after the goalie. Made him make the long, long pass to Smiley. Now Army is going to come up with their offensive opportunity. Brian Pavlik will trigger play as a senior. Career high five goals against Rutgers. Interesting to know also that the Orangemen, as we know, are playing this game basically because they lost to Rutgers this year. A 9-8 overtime loss. Well, this team, Army, blew out Rutgers by seven. And that's the game when Brian Pavlik scored his career high five. So it's kind of a measuring stick. Yastrzemski, top of the box. Feeds instead to Mike Coppa. And they'll work it around, but instead a bad pass. And they try to go behind the cage for Manning. And just threw that one away. We'll see what kind of ride defense Army has here to try to prevent an SU clear. Well, they're going to go right on Rourke Denver. They are going on the man with the ball. They're putting pressure on him, making him pass to the goalie. Let's make the goalie handle the ball, and let's make him pass it up the left sideline to Smiley. Senior try captain, Christian Fotopoulos. Back to Gebhardt. Long outlet pass, middle of the field. Jamie LeMessure stays on side nicely and works off for Morrissey. Syracuse again on the attack. 225 and counting, first quarter. Cavett just signaled, let's settle down. Syracuse playing a more characteristic kind of a game they've had this year, the kind of settled, let's get our opportunity offense as opposed to the transition game. Second line mid. Oh. Ira Vanderpool out there as well. Cavett battling hard with Brendan Sheehan. 
Doug Jackson a great job to regain that, and I think Toby Price is going to run it down before it goes out of bounds. Great job by Jackson to flip it back to Price, keep the play alive. Toby Price trying to streak in. Morrissey left side, one time play. A push is going to be called from behind as LeMessure was decked and hit hard. That's the kind of defense they do, though. That's what they're looking for. We'll put the body on you, but it was obviously not an appropriate spot there from the back, but uh, Syracuse able to get some new players in also. K.J. Dorsick on the hit. We saw him leave the game earlier with the yeah, injured ankle. Guess he's all right. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> and then some with a big-time hit from behind. Rolling down to a minute 30 in the first quarter. Ira Vanderpool, who is a converted attackman playing on midfield for Syracuse. Eight goals this season, nine ground balls to his credit coming in. Syracuse doing a lot of cutting old Vanderpool open as they set up that little stack up about 10 yards in front of the cage and cutting and picking. Not, that was not a good pass. Toby Price couldn't come up with it. Vanderpool in front trying to rake it. Jackson behind the back shot was blocked before it got there and Syracuse backs it up. Doug Jackson was open. I don't think he realized he didn't have to make a 360 spin move. Ball right un back in. Sure was. Unsettled situation. Again, the feeder Sherritts is mugged in front. Great checking job by Army. The SU Cutters just can't get the ball. An offsides call is going to be made against Syracuse. By the way, that was Dorzik, the guy who made that nice uh, body position, and Syracuse detected offside is going to give up the ball. So the cadets take it over. Rob Lands will start playoff. Army hanging around in this game, and then some. Greg Tiley, number 14. He's got seven points, three goals, four assists. Second line midfield now seeing some time here. Tiley out of East Syracuse Manoa along with David Crossett. All right, a couple of ESM kids, and as we said, we know about Dan Brostick, number 29, and Rob Manning, 33. And they are both local products. Good Rob save. Lance, top of the box, trying to get a shot off, and Gebhardt again coming up big. Here comes Matt Alexander from West Genesee High School across the midfield line. Just 20 seconds left in the quarter. Syracuse hold on to a lead. We'll see if they hold the ball or elect to get one more shot off before the quarter ends. 10 seconds, Cavett backing in, trying to get a shot off. Rob Cavett can't fire it. Still having problems getting the shot away. And Morrissey a backup with four seconds left. Good position, Dave Cross at 48 on Cavett. Didn't let him get the shot off. Quick pass one in, off they there. try a one-time play to Cavett. That one wide, and that'll do it for the quarter. <laughs> Loving went after it with the free hand. <laughs> Any way you can stop it, that's it works. Right. Rob Cavett has the one assist to Doug Jackson in this game so far. And that's our only goal. 15 minutes in the books from Sholkoff Field in Ithaca. 1996 NCAA Lacrosse Tournament. It's a 1-0 game in Ithaca. Syracuse a lead. We're back after this here on Super Sports. Welcome back, everybody. Sholkoff Field on the Cornell campus in Ithaca. A wet, rainy day. And so far, after one quarter, not a lot of offense based on some great Army D. And the Syracuse defense, Dale, coming through thanks to Jason Gebhardt. Yeah, Jason Gebhardt made some good saves. And this is a good right here. There he is. Gets the rebound. Knows where it is. Just stands up and fires the outlet pass right away. He's been uh, very, very good all season and good today. Three saves. Not a lot of action, but he's stopped him when he had to. One of them was a point blanker, which he turned away. So, and Loving not doing a bad job either. Obviously only giving up one, but that you and I talked, Dave, that uh, Army defense really helping him out. Ryan McCormick takes the face off with Toby Price. Alexander hit hard by McCormick from behind. Smiley lost out of his cross. Ball on the near side. Price tries to get uh -oh. a save, fires it back to his own net. That's not a good play. Wide up and goal, and it's shot wide. Oh, and the rebound. What a break, Brostick did hit the pipe. Incredible break for the Orange. Syracuse, not exactly the way you want to execute a clear, to say the least, as Alexander flicked that back to absolutely no one. Dan Brostick couldn't believe his luck as Gebhardt came out to check him, and Roy Simmons' junior team somehow is still up in this game 1-0. You check know, he out. did a good job of playing defense. i got to give Gebhardt credit. He got out and said, I I'm stuck out here in no man's land. Wow. Look at the another one of those. They had one earlier, right? Bounced off the outside of the pipe. <laughs> what a break for Syracuse. Yeah, not, not the thing you want to do. Stremski will work in against Chris McCartan. Cadets on the attack. Oh. That shot wide of Gebhardt again, so they're missing the cage. That was Brian Pavlik, who was just off net on his shot by a foot or so. Now they're going to put some pressure on the Syracuse defense. Let's see what they do. They're stacking up out there also. Oh, three across. Mike Copa triggers play behind the goal. 
Two behind, three on the crease, and one out on top. Definitely a different setup than they've shown before, so a uh, separate offensive look than we've seen. See what they're doing? They're, they're trying to get the, some cutters, and then if we can get beat down behind, we'll beat somebody behind right there. Looked like a ward. Stremsky looking for a ward off call you know. there. He nearly had one against him, and tries a crazy over-the-back shot that Gebhardt stops easily. Outlet pass, though, too far for Fotopoulos. Picked off, luckily, by Casey Powell. Streaks in. Powell shot. That Save. one stopped nicely by Loving. Nearly trickled through his legs. And a crease violation will be called after the play. Interference. It, yeah, interference. He Goes had his stick. He was in the Against the orange in his area and had the stick out and they hit the stick and that's interference on Loving. So they'll get a clear all the way out to midfield. There you go right here. Watch the slow motion stop. Nostremski brings in the offensive end for Army. Spinning uh -oh. shot there. Gebhardt got a foot, foot on that yeah. one. And Brostick picks up on the far side. Now Army's spreading it out a little bit. I know they had uh, set it up kind of tight before. Now they're spreading it way out. Chad Hadlock, top of the box, smiley on him. In front, Ooh. Manning open, turns. Good Gephardt save. again got a piece of that one. Beautiful save. They got open. Now they've spread him out, and they're hitting the open man. They hit the open man on the crease. He turned and fired, but Gebhardt got his arm up on it, rode the ball up over the cage, what you're supposed to do. And uh, that was a good save. So they have been putting some pressure now on Gebhardt. Army singles in a new offensive play. Uh huh. So they've shown several looks in this game. Try to keep SU on us. Brian Pavlik will trigger Matt Alexander on him. Short stick defensive midi. Under 13 minutes to go in the second quarter. Still a 1 0 game. Orangeman scored early. Doug Jackson on a feed from Rob Cavett, and that's been it for scoring in this game. It's a long Copa. sweep. Copa trying to. Just save off a shot. Rebound in two. front again. Gephardt with a tremendous play as he denies Another two one. Army cadets. Hadlock was denied on that second attempt. He was wide open, point blank range. And Jason Gebhardt comes up big one more time. Looked to me like he made three saves on this. This is just a long sweep. You run and say, can I beat the guy? Now there's one save. Loses the rebound. Watch. Bang. Second one with the belly. The belly save. Ball down. All right, there was a penalty before. There's the other one that he... He saved with his foot, but the, I think the whistle blew before that. Unbelievable job. Whew. Mike Copa behind the cage. Ryan Cummings, aggressive defense, slapping at him with that stick. No penalty call and a slash. Potential there, you never know. Pavlik, top of the box, has a step, shoots. That one well wide, easy save. Probably oh. easiest of the day for him. And Outlet look at the outlast. And here comes Syracuse the other way, running. McCartan with a long stick brings into the offensive zone. Cavett back to McCartan, wide shoots. That one wide. Oh, they're and gonna... a great backup though. What a play made by Loving oh. as he was the closest to it. And Army gets it back. That ball was moving. I thought that Syracuse was there, but it's a moot point. Army brings it down. Joe Whaley, the outlet, brings into the offensive zone to Tiley. Tiley, who is <laughs> tiny. Not a big guy, no. <laughs> Not a big guy. A lot of heart though. 5'5", 150. That might be a bit generous on the 5-5 five, five <laughs> part. <laughs> but hey, if he can get the job done, it doesn't matter what size he is. That's right, he's a hustler. He's got quick feet. Larry Kylie. Collins sees time also in the second line midfield for the Cadets. Just down by one in this game, he controls. Tyler's got it, left side, Tyler's shot. Gebhardt stopped it, lost it for a moment, then regains. And Hadlock got crushed on that play by Fotopoulos behind the cage. Rourke Denver bringing it down the sideline, loses it. Lost it to Cummings, will be there to regain oh. as it overruns the ball. And Rourke Denver, tri-captain from Saratoga, California, regains it off to Morrissey. Exciting game so far, and Jason Gebhardt has been the story with some tremendous work in net for the Orange. Some of the best saves we've seen him made all year long. That's right, in awful conditions. This is a... This kind of field, the bounce shots can kill you on this kind of a field because you never know exactly where they're going to go when it's this wet. Kutai on the field along with Matt Doyle on attack number 29. With that knee brace on his right leg after missing all of last season due to knee surgery. Blew it out, but he's back strong. Doyle inside, feeding. Cavett couldn't get across on it. They did a great job of, of sliding over and picking up Army did defensively. Rob Lands, tremendous job, but then lost the ball and his stick. It dribbles out of bounds, stays in bounds. Where Carano puts a lick on Syracuse. Matt Kataya, unsettled situation. Morrissey, Kataya too high for him. And it's regained by Cavett and the Orangemen again. Oh, he, he, kept the, he kept the ball. It looked like he was going to pass fake. it. Yeah. It sure was. Shot from the left wing. Hit the back of the net. 
And it's not a goal. Skataya missed it again. Syracuse does back it up. Just going to say, Army doing a great job of sliding. When somebody double teams and they pick up the open man, Syracuse looked like they had one, didn't get it. Doyle behind the goal. Watched by Larry Collins. Kataya, quick shot right wing. That one <laughs> wide again. Good back up by Cavett. Had a hustle. Travis Loving really yeah, did he's a great quick. job getting behind the cage. Cavett had his hand up to make sure they saw him there. He's now on cross it. Orsman will re-trigger. Cavett behind the goal. And Syracuse just with that 1-0 lead. 9.45 and counting to go in the first half. Army Water, low scoring game. They've got one. Jim Morrissey, who's had a great year scoring, leading the team in scoring with 55 points coming in. Morrissey streaks in, left-handed shot well wide. Good backup, Cavett could tie on the one-timer, couldn't get it. Loving rakes it in, then lost possession. He was out of his crease. Syracuse still has it, batted in! The Orangemen score, Casey Powell gets it. Looked like a home run hitter, Dale, taking a swing at it and knocking it home. Orange would take a 2-0 lead. Coming down the slot, and uh, the ball was uncontrolled, and he pounded it right back in there. Loving couldn't stop it. There's the shot behind. Cavett in the middle, ball down. Loving trying to get it, cross it there, ball back to Cavett, and he sees him, and he just quickly took it and put it back low. You know, one thing worth mentioning, a low-scoring game also takes your face-off man out of the game, Dave. In other words, you know, you score a goal, you get face-off, and you get a good face-off man, but... Uh, he has not been out there that much because uh, not that many goals scored. Now Army's going to pick up this face off. 2-0 Syracuse lead. Powell, as you saw, is 25th of the year, first in the postseason. And the Orange been in an unsettled situation. They will take advantage. Copa streaks in right wing, thought about, trying to get an angle and take a shot, but instead off to Manning. Ross Yastrzemski, 5'9", 165-pound junior, an all-Patriot League selection this year for Jack Amherst's team. He is dangerous. They've got the firepower, certainly, but so far, Jason Gebhardt has had every answer for the Army attack. Well, they've done this a couple times. A long and sweep, Stremsky and they got a, a guy over the Gebhardt again range. comes yes. up big on a save. Tremendous job as he denies Dan Brostick from about five feet away. Gebhardt is just anticipating Dale and sliding into position so well in this game. They got the pass to Brostick where they wanted it, but uh, he couldn't do it. On the other end, Syracuse on Good attack. Katsaya and Casey Powell working. Powell hit hard as he tried to get his second goal in a row. Vanderpool throwing his body around there. Sheehan can't regain. It's a wild struggle for it on the far side. Finally a whistle. will stop play with 8-11 to go in the second. And the push call goes against the Syracuse Orangemen. Cross it, starts it upfield, clears it right away. Brian Pavlik not wasting any time on midfield. He's across the... Half-field stripe into the offensive zone. Army taking the ball out on top and running a sweep. And then if they get anybody to jump them, they dump it off to the man on the wing. Brostek's in the same position he was the last time, but they're kind of offset now toward this side of the field. Rob Manning with 28 points in his last five games, streaks in. Watched by McCartan, great defense. Chris McCartan just shoves him away, can't find the shooting angle. And the Orangemen denying well. Hadlock lost it. Smiley on him. Again, poke checked away. Great job by Mike Smiley from West Genesee High School. His oh. outlet pass a little high for Fotopoulos, though. And Pavlik tried to make Photo pay the price. Couldn't do it. Little buddy Syracuse pass. Syracuse the other way. Harvey Sacron, freshman long stick from West Jenny, brings in. Cavett lost it, but Morrissey regains. Syracuse will get some more short sticks on as soon as Sacron can scamper off along with Ryan Cummings. Wild exchange. And the hitting starting to really pick up here in the second quarter. Let's roll down towards seven minutes to go in the period. Syracuse a 2-0 lead. Rob Cavett, two assists so far. Powell and Jackson have scored for the Orange. Andy Rodriguez getting time. As the Orange coaching staff sends in the call. Syracuse on attack. Cavett behind the cage. Cross it watching him. So far, it's done a solid offensive job at all his assignments. Rodriguez thought about a shot, spinning with it. Andy Rodriguez trying to make that big comeback from a blown out knee as well. He and Doyle, major rehab after knee problems and surgery. Jim Morrissey. Sheehan takes a big hack at the Orangeman behind the goal, Casey Powell. Casey left-handed cradle, still carries in, looking at a back-end tough angle. Feeds instead, Syracuse with it. Rodriguez, a one-timer, a score! And the Orange would take a 3-0 lead in the second quarter. Great feed, and Andy Rodriguez, very excited to get his first ever NCAA tournament goal. 
when you draw a mismatch, when you get somebody to double or triple team, watch them slide here. Come over, watch one, and then they let Rodriguez go, and Rodriguez comes down the slot with a left-handed shot. 17 was on him. That was Copa, but he could not stop him. And that'll be the third goal for Syracuse. 6-11 left. And Toby Price out, see if he can win a faceoff. First goal of the year for Andy Rodriguez. Right, Dale, yeah. what a time to get that. Price takes the faceoff. Rodriguez, and much and well-deserved rest after that play. Karen trying to regain and flips high it high toward the midfield. Had a couple of those balls just kind of chucked out there into the middle of the field. Syracuse now facing Army's attack again. Brostick is denied on the doorstep one more time. Price made him pay the price, and Dan Brostick's slow to get up. He was hit hard. And you know, you want to give credit uh, also to Gebhardt. Did a nice job of taking away the angle. Watch the hit. There's the pass in. Now watch, see the goalie? Watch him hugging the pipe, cutting down the angle. It didn't look that bad, but he must have landed hard because uh, he is uh, he's down. First time in Patriot League history, one player, Dale, has been named to the All-Patriot League first team four times in a row, and that's him. Number 29, Dan Brostick from Beeville. Brostick looks all right. So he took a shot, but he's back up. And you're going to see it. Watch. Brostick's going to get the ball in the wing. The goalie's going to slide over, protect the pipe. And now here comes the slide, and then you pay the price. Down he went, and in the crease to boot. So Syracuse now clear the ball. Brostick and Army have been denied so far. Dan Brostick, 118 career goals, which is fourth on the all-time cadet list. Syracuse defense, Gebhardt, has just been incredible in this game so far. Five and a half to go first half. Syracuse up by three. And the Orange looking for more. And you know what they say in the playoffs, you can go very, very far with a hot goalie a lot farther than with uh, just a hot offense. And that's exactly what Gebhardt has done. Paul Carcaterra works against Rob Lands. Carcaterra second line midfield. And also playing attacks. He's a valuable player for the Orange and Roy Simmons. Katai the freshman. Casey Powell has that one goal looking for two. Left handed oh. shot, a score from the left side. Casey Powell goes so well, Dale, to the right and left. And he put a laser beam on Loving from the left wing. Couldn't stop it for a second of the game. Loving had a lot of guys in front of him. You see the move right there by Powell. They slide, and he just caught him trying to. He didn't. He just kind of. He got him. It's like getting handcuffed in baseball. Watch where the ball goes. Jeez, I can't stop it. And that's exactly what happened. You're right. Powell set it up, going right, coming back left. Uh, the slide was there, but they couldn't get on his stick. And Syracuse puts in number four. Casey came in with 47 points on the season, as we all know, well-publicized switch to midfield. Having a big game today with a couple goals. McCormick, push, a push against the Army Cadet midi face-off specialist, and Syracuse gets it back. You can feel the wave momentum. of momentum yep. starting to really go in SU's favor. A 4-0 lead, under five minutes to go in the half. And the Orange would love to get at least one more to take that dominating five-zip lead this game. Although normally, you know, you would say, that not a big lead really in a, in a college lacrosse game, but in this one, in the way this pace has been, it looks uh, it looks big at this point. Jim Morrissey, top of the box. Ward, Ward off call against yep. the senior captain. Great defense again. Joe Whaley on long stick, number 46, right on Morrissey, and forced him to create the Ward off violation. So the infraction gives Army the ball back with four and a half to go. Start with cross it back to the goalie, out to the wing, up over the midfield, just over the midfield line, and they clear it. Sheehan will clear. Carano helping out in the clear as well. Now, if you're Army, Manning. if you're Army, you want to get at least one in. It's like having a little piece of uh, invisible plastic over that cage, and they just uh, can't seem to get one in there. And it's uh, Gebhardt's been the guy who's done it. Yeah, his name is Jason Gebhardt. That's the shield in front of the goal right now. Yastrzemski tries to work in. Ross Yastrzemski on the right wing. Watched hard and checked by Chris McCartan. He's done a good job. Long stick D midi. Stremski just can't get a shot off, plain and simple, can't get by his man. That's great body defense right, by McCartan, you're right. Mike Copa trying to get a step. Copa working no. against Sweep. Syracuse. Now they, yeah, yeah he got one right around. Yeah. A lot great of time. Great job on defense again by SU. Jeff Lowe, freshman from Liverpool, getting time on D Mitty. Number 23. Yastrzemski trying to find an angle. Oh. Tough shot score. Ross Yastrzemski finally gets one in for the Cadets. A low roller. He went low, and Jason Gebhardt, who has come up so big with great saves all day long, couldn't stop this one. Well, they had played such great defense, team defense, 
and you're going to see where this one comes. You're going to look at it from a low camera angle, and it's just a low worm burner, and it went by on the stick side, I think, of the left-handed Gebhardt. And so you're back to the face-off. Now, if you get a face-off guy in your army, we know how this game goes in spurts. You can get right back in it, and they do, do not. Do not come up. Oh, yes. Toronto came Still in back. He smiley there. overruns that ground ball. He's done that a couple times in this game. McCormick trying to get across on it. Gebhardt backs up the loose ball. Hadlock watching that one roll. Uh oh Risky play. No one in net for Syracuse. Still wide open. Gebhardt trying to get save. back. And he does in time to save it against Rob Manning. What a play by Jason Gebhardt. This Whoa. kid is spectacular. Here comes Casey Powell the other way. When you're hot, you're no really hot. No time to catch your breath. Powell in the offensive zone just lost it on his deke move. Nice play by McCormick. Oh. Casey Powell strips from behind. One more time. Here it comes does it again. Crossett. Casey Powell just diving everywhere to make plays. Rob lands into the offensive zone. Hadlock, Syracuse unsettled. Hadlock drives in. Another save, save. Gebhardt. Rebound loose, and Jason Gebhardt has got it. What a play by Gebhardt again. Outlets to Cummings. Here come the Orangemen. Exciting action. Cummings fires wide. Who's got the backup? Syracuse Whoa. barely. Doug Jackson was there. Now, I'll tell you why lacrosse is the fastest game on two feet. You, <laughs> you can see what's happened here, and then they start right away again. No time to rest at all for either team. Carcaterra on for Syracuse. Kataya scoots on the field as well. 2.20 and counting in the first half. Syracuse up 4-1. to one. Lone goal we saw a moment ago by Ross Yastrzemski of Army. Rodriguez, his first goal this year. Scored here in the playoff game. Coming up big when he needs to. And the Orange now on the patient attack. Work around the perimeter. Cross it, trying to poke check that away from Doug Jackson. Powell scored twice. Rodriguez once. Doug Jackson in the first. Syracuse a 1-0 lead after one. And bolted out to a 4-0 lead before Yastrzemski just pulled the cadets to within three. Syracuse taking their time down to 140. They are being patient. Orangeman in the offensive zone, very patient attack. Jackson in trouble, good feed in front, and Carcaterra oh, oh, oh. missed the net. He was wide open on the one-time play, but it's backed up nicely by Syracuse. Syracuse a team that takes a lot of shots, but that one was uh, uncharacteristically wide. Morrissey gets a pick, then lost the ball for a moment. Joe Whaley on him with long stick. Syracuse and Rodriguez getting a lot of time on midfield. He must have improved as the season went on. He looks better than he did when he Absolutely. first came back yeah. in the first part of the season. His mobility was way down. Carcaterra trying to make a move and get in front. Cannot. Down to a minute five and counting in our first half. Syracuse up by three. Cavett, oh, in. a great job against Sheehan. Brendan Sheehan all over him. Rob Cavett trying to regain the loose ball. A lot of pushing going on. The two tangle. On the far side, we'll see what Rob Cavett, who wisely walks away, looks like Syracuse has called a timeout with 54 seconds left in the half. Let's check out the action. I don't know if they called anything like a no possession push. The ball was up in the air. That, that should have been, yeah. K.J. Dorzik. We made it, uh, used his name a couple yeah. times today on this one. He's pushed some Orangemen around. He was injured early in the game, but has come back to really wreak some havoc against the SU offense. Well, you can see why uh, Army has a reputation for putting the body on people, but I don't think it's been inordinate or anything really the, more than you see in a good Division I uh, team, especially when you're playing against Syracuse, and that's, uh, they play that way also. So, so far, so good, but the story for Syracuse has to be Gebhardt. Coming back in the goal after he was out and making, a, making that save was uh, is spectacular. Former West Genesee and SU All-American John Desco, assistant to Roy Simmons Jr. will draw up a play here with 54 ticks left. And the conditions have not improved, Dale. No, there's still one bit. Just thank goodness that still Cornell miserable. has a nice, dry press box. That's that right. Inside right now, thankfully. The umbrella's out on mass today. You can see why. Temperatures dipping into the 50s. It has just been awful out here. Doubleheader of NCAA first round tournament action. You know, talking about knee injuries and coming back, we talked about Rodriguez. Gebhardt had a bad knee. You see him in that when he slid back in there, he, he really has been putting some pressure on that one today, and it's holding up very well. A couple of risky plays. One that was not his fault when Alexander scooped back to <laughs> right <laughs> to a uh, wide open Army attackman, and Jason had to go one on one with him, and luckily that rang off the pipe. Yeah, he's played defense today. He's, uh, he's played a little offense. He's saved with his body, with his stick, with his foot. 
done a bit of everything. 4-1 game, 54 seconds left, first half. Syracuse will control here and try to get one good high percentage playoff. At the same time preventing Army have enough time to come back and attack before the half ends. Paul Carcaterra works in against Rob Lance. Cavett to Jackson, down to 30 seconds left. Cross it on Doug Jackson. Left wing, they'll go right around the perimeter. Down to 20 seconds. And it's about time to start one more attack play. Kutai on the right wing. Feeds for Casey Powell. So the guy who want to have the ball in his cross. We saw that at the end of the UMass game. 10 seconds left. They're going to isolate yeah. him again. Six seconds. Casey Powell trying to get his move, trying to get some space. Casey with it. Just one second. Fires the shot. And it was broken up. Good defense. Lance came over to help out. And that'll do it for the end of our first half. From Sholkoff Field today, Casey Powell scored a couple. And the Orangemen have themselves a 4-1 lead after one half of play. Back with our halftime highlights and stats right after these words. Welcome back to Sholkoff Field. Just set for second half action. 4-1 Orangemen lead in the beginning of the third quarter. Let's check out those halftime highlights, Dale. The Orangemen getting going in the right direction thanks to Casey Powell's broken free for two goals in this game. Casey Powell has uh, been pretty much a good omen for Syracuse offensively, although it has been a little bit low in the output department. You see him right in the slot, put one by the loving. A little right-hand uh, baseball shot. <laughs> and the Orange been in good shape after that goal. And also, we'll see Jason Gebhardt coming up with some tremendous saves in the first half. He really did, did a great job. Made a number of saves, uh, got the rebounds, came back, made some tremendous saves, and he's... Uh, He's the reason Syracuse really doing so well. We're back to the... McCartan trying oh. to fire. That one was long stick. That one wide. As Jason Gephardt able to get through with a tremendous first half. Rourke Denver, that is, not Chris McCartan. The six and the eight on those jersey numbers are so darn close. Hard to Chris tell. Chris McCartan was on the bench. Yep. Denver, of course, the first team close defender. We talked about, uh, we didn't see it, but ground ball is also a statistic, and Syracuse has really been doing a great job on ground balls. So we'll get the stats up for you momentarily, but right now Syracuse trying to pad that lead, Dave. Carcaterra on the right wing will work in this opening part of the third quarter against Ryan McCormick. Rob Cavett with Brennan Sheehan on him. Cavett trying to back in, find an angle. On the left wing, Syracuse just underway in the second half. Good feed. Nice shot. Jump. That one put wide, though, by Matt Kutai, who was open. And a great feed from Cavett. Nice ad lib offense ability by Matt Kutai, who spun around a pick and found himself wide open. Syracuse has been going to that looking, feeding from behind on the cutters. Stacked up on the crease, but didn't go then. They've missed the cage a couple times. Carcaterra works for Doyle on the right side. Matt Doyle. Being shoved out, Doyle oh, pipe. rung that one off the pipe again. The rebound going well wide, out of bounds on the sideline. Syracuse and Doyle closest to it, and the Orange take over. Doyle picked up by Cross at 48 when he brings the ball. They got timeout now as they Army gets some defensive help. KJ Dorsett comes right. back onto the field, and Rob Lance, defensive bitty with a short stick. You know, Dorsett is <laughs> well known for his hitting in this game. He's laid out a couple of Orangemen today. He takes the ball coming in and uh, Fawcett switches men and they start in from behind. Kutai behind the goal. Dorzik on Matt Kutai, good spin move, shooting as he lunges into the crease. And that one goes through the crease <laughs> and then eventually out of bounds. Crease violation called against Matt Kutai. It's a major crease. He yeah. was just kind of relaxing there. <laughs> Ended up spread eagle there. <laughs> so it will go. Army, cross it back to his goalie. Travis Loving will trigger play. Army Netminder had a pretty good first half. Six foot, 185 pound senior, a co-captain for the cadets. Trying to get back in this game down by three as we begin play. Lands, defensive mini short stick brings in, then he'll come off the field. They'll scamper on another short stick player to motor for him. Mike Copa is ready to come in. Ross Jastrzemski, number 16, had the lone Army goal in the first half. Lone Army goal for the game so far. Kopa and Yastrzemski play catch. 
Ross Yastrzemski. Oh, Force jump. Against McCartan, that shot from Pavlik is fired just wide. They lost, uh, they lost Syracuse defender there. They, they stacked up on the crease and split two different directions, and Syracuse lost one of them, <laughs> picked them up. Rob Manning from West Genesee High School triggers play. Bork Denver on him. Manning trying oh. to get in front. Denver, nice job hacking at him. Still no penalty call. Rob Manning regains, trying to find an angle. Bork Denver with a big time push. They go back out to Brian Pavlik. Will reset the offense. Pavlik top of the box, trying to squeeze off a shot. Can't find an angle. Good double team. Rostick watched by Smiley. And again, Army turned away. Smiley's been doing a good job, although I would say Army has had some more dramatic on cage shots than Syracuse. Rostick spins, he's open. Oh, what a play by Smiley from Smiley. behind. As he was able to poke check it after being beaten. That was a tremendous play by the 6'6 senior from West Genesee. Jim Morris, he ends up with it. Goes right by Lands, and he'll bring it to the offensive end. Ross Jastrzemski also back on defense. Morrissey left wing, 11.48 in the third. Still 4-1 SU lead. Andy Sherritt's getting time here on midfield. Syracuse, a lot of depth and a lot of Army bodies down there, but you, you got to wonder if they can match up with Syracuse depth-wise. Vanderpool's got the ball on top. Dale Army's had a lot of chances in this game, too. Yes. They've been denied by Gebhardt. They had bad breaks, rung the pipe a couple times, and that one, well, Smiley was beaten badly, but he just kind of yeah. reached at it, made a great poke check. Vanderpool trying to get a step. Price thought about a shot, instead elects to feed. Spinning Cavett, nice one-handed, quick fire shot, but Loving able to come up with a nice save. He's out left to Pallet, though, too far. It's scooped up by Syracuse, and Smiley runs into his own man in Sherritts. Syracuse Ooh. regains, good break. Matt Doyle, unsettled situation. Here comes Vanderpool, lost it off his cross. Brian Pavlik looking to regain by Army. Dumped by Price. Well, he turned. That was a big time yeah. push against Toby Price and a whistle. Okay, so it'll be a technical. Syracuse will be man down for 30 seconds. How many that is? I think that's Army's first man up opportunity. Yeah, I believe so, yep. So that was a push, as you can see, although Toby Price thought, I'm sure he's saying he turned. I had the angle and he turned, but uh, that's all right. Syracuse, who has a pretty good man down defense, will be tested for the first time this afternoon, and that's a little bit uncharacteristic of Syracuse. They usually have a number of penalties, but uh, that's a, when you're playing this kind of a game, it's a good time to come up with a low penalty output. Yastrzemski has that goal for Army, works for Chad Hadlock on the man up offensive set, along with Pavlik. Mike Copa out there as well. Army on attack, trying to cut that lead. Morostic and Manning play catch behind the cage. Syracuse looking to fend it. Try Captain Christopher Topless. Pavlik top of the box, fires a shot. That went high, and Gebhardt again. Up to the task with a great save. His outlet, though, a little bit too far for Denver. What a spin job by Morrissey to get free as he beat his man. Tremendous play by Jim Morrissey to keep the play alive. Alexander lost control. And a great play by Brennan Sheehan on his end to poke that one away. Ball near the sideline, saved by Calvin. That's the ground ball, Warren. Syracuse is winning it. Syracuse certainly has so far. Orange been again, trying to take advantage. Unsettled situation. Cavett feed Morrissey free for a moment. Quick shot. Low to high. Saved by Loving nicely. He tracked that one right down. He saw that the whole way. Now he's out. Way out of his crease. Travis Loving tried to clear. Goes to Pavlik, but it's going to be scooped up by Carcaterra. Loving will scamper back to his goal mouth and guard that closely. York Denver. Into the offensive end, <laughs> Casey Powell burst to speed. Spinning, Casey Powell shoots, Loving goes low to make it. Waiting nice for save. that, he was waiting, he knew that was coming low. Good job by Loving. Chris Carano, All-American long stick defensive mid into the offensive zone. This guy can score too. Carano shooting. No. That one stopped by Jason Gebhard. Carano has nine Whoop. goals this year for a long stick and four assists too. He's had a great year on offense. Ryan Cummings the other way. End to end action here. Cummings wide shoots that one wide as well. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Loving. You know, let's get some guys out here. Take the shot. Let's get a rest. Boy, these guys are going up and down, up and down, and uh, they got it back, and Syracuse starts from behind. Cavett fires over onto the left wing. 9-10 and counting to go in the third. Syracuse enjoying a three-goal lead, but it has not been easy in this game. Mm -hmm. Steady rain still falling. There are the shots. Second quarter Army out shooting him. The Orange doing a better job. Just a couple goals, and there's another by Vanderpool. We only had five combined before Ira Vanderpool ripples the net against Loving from the right wing. 
First playoff goal for Ira. And the Mitty gives the Orange a four goal lead. He's had a couple of looks, and it's one of the few times Army was not able to get stick on stick with him. Number 17, Copa, not able to get up on the stick, and Vanderpool just went stick side on Loving. And that gives Syracuse a four goal lead at 5 1 with 8.53 left in this third quarter. Ninth goal of the 96 season for Ira Vanderpool. He scored a goal in the SU 16 8 win here in April on the 10th against Cornell, and the Orange from one in Ithaca. Once again, great offensive play oh. by McCormick and a better defense effort by Price. Got him unsettled, and Toby gets the pass back from North Denver. Price is hit hard, <laughs> along with McCartan. Well, Whistle. Yeah, I think that was call. McCartan was trying to get off the field, and he ran into the Army player. You know, intent isn't there. It's just whether you interfered. He did, and, and Syracuse did. will. <laughs> yep, they're gonna they're gonna lose it. Greg Tiley is back on number 14 for Army. He'll trigger the play at midfield. Eight and a half to go in the third. It's highly top of the box. Cummings comes out, manhandles him, and gets the ball right back. What a job by Ryan Cummings. Defensive midfield and gets by Tiley. He went for a lunging hit. Cummings still with it. Feeds top of the box. Alexander winds shot. Oh, run pipe. off the pipe again. Boy, Alexander just did miss that goal by inches. Trying to give SU a five goal lead. He's shaking his head coming off. He can't believe it. But Kutaya has it. The Orange will settle down on offense and reset. Carcaterra and Casey Powell. 19 to 22, wearing the old gate jersey numbers there. Yeah. Paul and Gary had a flashback for a moment seeing them <laughs> run together like that. 19 to 22. Behind the back pass. 740, <laughs> yeah. 740 and counting. Kutaya top of the box gets free. Can't fire it though. Good defensive play made from behind. He was stripped to the last moment. Couldn't get a clean shot off. And Army looks to regain and bring out. The defensive play by Evangelista, number 23. Crosser gets a pass off. Hagerty, number two. Able to bring it to the offensive zone with a long stick. Being watched by Carcaterra. He'll get off the short pass. stick. And, yeah, and they'll reset on offense. Second line midfield staying on. Evangelista is there along with Larry Collins, 44. Rob Manning behind the cage to Hadlock. Tiley trying to sneak in there. There's Tiley, all 5-5 five, five of them. Easy to miss out there, but boy, is he quick. That's by one man. Carcaterra catches up, good defensive recovery. And Hadlock behind the goal. Still four goal game. Ooh. Chad Hadlock able to overcome quite a hit. Pass in front. Manning is denied again by Gebhardt. Ball still loose in front. Syracuse trying to regain. Manning does recover for Army. On the right wing, Rob Manning still with it. Trying to cut in. Shot went Save. low. And again, Gebhardt saves it. Crease violation against West Genesee's Rob Manning. And a turnover. Jason Gebhardt has been incredible today. Boy, when they've given him a, a chance to take a shot, they've taken it. But Gebhardt's been there stopping him. He's going to get a chance to uh, play a little in this. Nope, they bypassed him. They take it up. Smiley's going to take it up the wing. Go right and over. Smiley pass oh. in the middle of the field. Try to hit Kutai Morris. He gets it. Fires that shot on Loving. And Travis again able to come up with a nice save. Syracuse in the midfield trying to deny. Rob Lance brings into the offensive zone. Lance feeding Manning. Winds that shot wide again of Gebhardt. Backed up nicely by Brostick of Baldwinsville, number 29. You want to try something sometime? Squat down in front of that goal like the goalie does, and then when the shot goes, then change from that and go right back outside and try to get the, get the ball, and that's exactly what he did. Great job. 16 saves so far yeah. as we saw for Gebhardt in this game. Yastrzemski has that only Army goal. Ross Yastrzemski carries, being hit hard. Still has possession. Vanderpool double team. Yastrzemski oh. bounce shot score. His second goal of the game. Recovers and gets it. He's now got 28 on the season. And as we said, the highest ever midi score in Army history showing why in this game. Watch Vanderpool go over his head. Watch Vanderpool come on the jump. Right over the head, knocks the ball down, but he gets the rebound and he takes the high hop shot for only the second goal for Army, but it brings him within three. Now this faceoff becomes important in terms of momentum. If you're Army and you get it, you think we can get back in this. Syracuse says we got to keep this lead right where it is. And Army gets it. Ryan McCormick able to win the faceoff. Nice, nice job done by Casey Powell. Stripped yeah. it. Doug Jackson avoids the offside with a scoop pass. So does Powell. And they work it back for Cavett. Rob Cavill sets up the offense. 
Quick pass in front, try to feed Price. Doug Jackson maybe rushed that one. Sheehan got a cross on it. Syracuse regains. Doug Jackson doesn't waste time in front. Wide open man, save loving of it initially as he denies Jim Morrissey right on the doorstep. Travis Loving has made some great saves of his own, and Morrissey stepped into the crease for a turnover. Now yeah, Morrissey got pushed in. He really got mugged down there, and he got pushed into the crease, and uh, cross it's got the ball for Army, gets it up to the center. What a save made by Loving as he denies senior captain from Skinny Atlas, Jim Morrissey. Fantastic play. Copa works through to Shremsky, and Ross with the two goals in this game for the Cadets. Only down by three, still very much in this thing in the third quarter. Here's Trebsky bidding for the hat trick, trying to get around his man. Cummings regains. Ryan Cummings strips it away. Here's Trebsky shot. The ball he still thought he had in his cross, and it had already been checked away. Alexander with a burst of speed across the midfield line. Has Pavlik spun around. Alexander shot again. A nice save made by Loving. Travis Loving is coming up big hot. in this game. He is getting hot, too. He's had a tremendous third quarter. That last save on Jim Morrissey, who has it now behind the cage, one of the best we've seen all year. I mean, that was right on the doorstep, point blank range. And he turned him away. I think they got to bounce a little bit more on him. They've been taking some shots into the body and uh, extending him a little bit, but I think they got to put it on the carpet here. Andy Rodriguez, first goal of the season, going for a second. Rodriguez in, bounce shot. Now you said it there, Dale, and loving able to stop that bouncer as well. Outlets to Chris Carano, and he brings it in midfield line before Vanderpool checks from behind. Carano ends up with it. Wide open man is Brostick, but what a play made! One more time by Gebhardt. It's been spectacular. Syracuse in the unsettled situation comes the other way. Doug Jackson looks to set up. Has Rodriguez in the slot, but elects to go to the Orangeman and Jim Morrissey, and they'll set back to Cavett. Pass to Jackson, Great stripped defense. from behind. Great play as. Again, it's the SM's Crossett Cross it coming yep. up with a nice poke check away. Dave Cross at big time play. Still a 5-2 game. Jason Gebhardt winning the battle with Dan Brostick from Baldwinsville a moment ago. That was a tremendous matchup of two Central New York products. Yep. Head to head. One from Jenny, one from Beville. Wow. Score still 5-2. Vanderpool looking for his second goal. Checked again. Carano making a nice play from behind. Brendan Sheen with a long stick brings across the midfield line. He's got a good shot as well. I have to watch that. Yastrzemski looking for the hat trick. Bounce shot wide of Gebhardt. It's backed up nicely by Brostick. That series there, Syracuse did not look very well set. I, I realize he got stripped of the ball. Vanderpool did, but nobody seemed to know what to do, and uh, they got out hustled down to the shot. Uh, let's see what happens now. Manning behind the cage triggers. Syracuse long sticks have him come up big, and so is Jason Gebhardt. He's answered the call in this one. Greg Tiley on the far side. Charging in, has a step. Rodriguez too slow for Tiley, who's got some great speed. Watch out there. Tiley open, diving, shoots. Save Gebhardt, rebound loose in front. Battered around, and Smiley ends up with it. Good break for the Orange. Nice drive by Tiley against a much bigger player. Lots of action. Here's Alexander. He'll cross the midfield line again. We have seen heading, we've seen great shots, tremendous goaltending. Not that much scoring in a close defensive struggle. 5-2 game, 2.15 and counting to go in the third quarter. You know, you'd like to say the field has something to do with it, but you know, 26 goals were scored before this sure on essentially was. the same field. Doyle backing in and his man trying to get a shot off and can't. Matt Doyle's been shut down, trying Crossing. to spin and shoots, he scores! What a tough angle against Crossit. Matt Doyle, first goal of the game, and the Orange up by four goals one more time. He had him covered very well, but you gotta give him credit. Watch what he does. Being Doyle backs. Just gets it on the wrist and then takes the shot stick side and he beats Loving just low as it hops down. And I said before, I think they should be taking those kind of shots. The bounce shot, it went 156 left. Syracuse up 6-2. Face off department again. Doyle 16th of the season. First of the playoffs, Matt Doyle. Army been doing a good job of getting the face offs, Dave. He was 15-9 in the regular season for the 24 points. McCormick able to win a lot of face-offs. Coming in, Ryan McCormick, 58.9 of his face-offs won. To go along with 94 ground balls. He's done a good job at midfield. Yastrzemski owns the two Army goals in this game. Team again down by four with a minute 30 to go in the third quarter. Ross Yastrzemski 
Brings in. Denver on him, watching him hard. McCormick out, and McCartan in for Syracuse as well on long stick. Okay, that's still very much alive in this game, but would love to get at least one more goal, maybe cut it to three heading into the fourth, where it could be anyone's game. Toby Price against Brian Pavlik on the right side. Flag Slow down. whistle, penalty flag dropped against Syracuse, so the Getz will have that man up. Yastrzemski bidding for his third goal. There's a ward. Look out, Yastrzemski, a pass, ball loose, and that stops play. So there's going to be a call going against the Orange, but... Ooh, that's a big one. Looks like, again, the illegal body check call. Yeah, it's Denver. As they go for a one-minute nope. penalty. McCartan, McCartan, number 18, scampers off the field. Price and Fotopoulos also come off. We'll see who the guilty party is. Looks like Christian Fotopoulos yep. is going to sit out for a minute. So opportunity number two. But this one's a minute. The last one was 30 seconds. They'll have it for the remainder of the third quarter. With just 45 seconds to go in the period now. 6-2 Syracuse a lead. Army on the man up. On the Fotopoulos illegal body check call. Manning behind the cage. Army on the man up. Haven't seen a lot of this tonight. Brostic bounce shot. That one goes wide. Gephardt may have gotten a piece of it as well. As he blistered a bouncer to the left of Jason Gebhardt. 30 ticks left in the third. Yastrzemski will trigger play behind the cage. Pavlik works around the perimeter. Hadlock. Brian Pavlik on the left side. High pass. Brought down well by Manning. And Yastrzemski just 10 seconds left in the quarter. 0 of 1 so far in the man up. Manning. Nice job to control that ball. Army will not pull the trigger here. Three seconds left. Just two seconds left. They Great won't get defense. a shot off. Great D by Syracuse at the end of the third quarter. Ross Yastrzemski has the two goals for the Army Cadets. They are alive, but barely down 6-2 at the end of three. Fourth quarter action coming up right here on Super Sports. Rain continues to fall. Pretty much a lousy day here. <laughs> Just off Cuga Lake. 6-2 score. The Orangemen and Jason Gebhardt in goal has been rock solid in this game, allowing just two scores from Ross Yastrzemski. And he has been the difference, no doubt about it. 6-2, Orangemen a lead. Doyle scoring toward the end of the third for Syracuse, his first of the postseason to give them that four-goal edge. Still a few seconds of man up. The topless will be released. He's back on there and Cummings serving it. Penalty and the penalty now out. Here comes Denver across the midfield line. Pavlik behind him, Rourke Denver a step. Winding shot there just wide. And Rourke Denver wanted another one. Boy, he loves scoring with that long stick. You get quite a whip on that and uh, he got the shot off but uh, he had back up and Casey Powell looking to back in. You know, last time Rourke Denver played a game here, April 10th in that win over Cornell, he had two goals and an assist in that big victory over the Big Red. Penalty's up. Sides are even. Cummings serving the end of that penalty for Syracuse. It's high at top of the box. Just underway, fourth quarter. Orange went up 6-2. This game has never been a blowout. Largest lead at four. They enjoyed at the end of the first half and here again in oh. the second. Powell, great move, looking for his third goal. Way wide, pays a price as Brennan Sheehan lays him out. What a hit put on Casey Powell after the shot was released. I'm not sure if he heard footsteps or not, but Casey was decked after that play. That's happened all year to him, though, Dale. Yeah. He's a marked man. He also doesn't give it up early either. <laughs> he waits till that uh, waits. third and fourth guy come on him before he, uh, he gives it up. Morrissey starts to play off for the Orange. Back to Paul Carcaterra. 14 minutes remaining in this first round playoff game. Orange been up on the cadets by four. Two teams did not play in the regular season. Matt Doyle bidding for a second goal. Good defense again by Army. It's Dave Cross it on from ESM. Rob Cavett behind the cage. Cavett working on Sheehan. Goes low, again loving able to make a nice save. Cross it regains with a long stick. His outlet pass toward midfield is too far for his teammate. Fotopoulos had a cross on it. Syracuse takes it back. Orange been looking to take advantage of the unsettled situation. Carcaterra in the offensive end. Syracuse sets up. Four goal lead. 
under these conditions, it's kind of like a, a wishbone team in football when you're behind here. You, uh, you got to get the ball back. Uh, eventually, you got to have to start playing really aggressive. Not that they're not, but they got to go after the ball and double team it. Hopefully, they can get something because they're down by four. Carcaterra step on his man. Low bounce shot and loving again. Able to come with a nice save. Out of his crease, pays a price. He gets decked by Casey Powell. Ball near midfield, picked off by the Orangemen. Matt Doyle, one more time, come in on the offensive end, this time right wing. Fire that nice, low, quick release shot, Dale, yep. against Loving a moment ago, and Travis just got a piece of it. Enough to stop it, but pay the price. You come out of the crease as a goalie, you're a free <laughs> game for anyone. Fair game to get nailed, and he really took a lick. Like a little alarm, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> the radar goes in on that. Shot from Ooh, Syracuse again, Kataya. And one more time, Loving able to get across on that as he goes vertical with a stick, and. Pops that one over the cage. But the key is the Orangemen control on offense. Still have possession. Morrissey trying to avoid the crease violation. Streaks in double right team. wing. Now there it's the comes. double team. Yeah. Gets it off in time. Morrissey screaming to get that ball rotated to Katai on the right wing. Iso. Matt Doyle. Oh. Works on Cross it. Doyle has one goal already. Cross it, good poke check. Mac Doyle battling for it. What a job by Loving out of his crease to regain. And Doyle ends up on the turf. Loving, outlet pass though, and Chris Carano thought it was going right to him. Instead, he let it go. And it goes out of bounds. Almost died. <laughs> that water there, it, uh, it almost died. But Loving's had a, a, a great, I think, he had a good first half. He's having a great second half. He's done a super job. Not a good pass there necessarily, but uh, in stopping the ball, he has just been fantastic here in the second half. Ryan McCormick is off from his midfield spot, and Ross is Tremsky comes back on for Syracuse. Now leading the charge for the Orange. Casey Powell. Syracuse on the attack again. The Orange has been pretty much in the entire third, and a lot of the fourth quarter is dominating play. They've had it in offensive zone the whole time. We are rolling down to three oh. and a half, remaining in the, uh, rather into the fourth quarter. It's been all Syracuse on possession, and Denver trying to keep that trend alive, looking to avoid the offside call, stays onside, and brings it over Kataya. Army, real problems clearing the ball on, a, on the turnover situation. They have had, the last three have come right back at them, so. They're rushing it yep. too much, and not setting up any kind of organized clear. Right, Just looking yep. for the open man, and ball's going loose. Like the wishbone team, they got to try to pick it up, but you, you've got to get it clear first. Right now, it looks like a little bit of an ISO there. Trying to set up Casey Powell. Makes one move on Yastrzemski, who's an offensive midfield player. He's got to match up with Powell, not an easy task. Casey Powell trying There's to get two by guys two men. Him. Wide open man in front. Rob Cavett scoops it home for a goal. Very pretty. Very Casey pretty. Powell created that whole action, Dale, by yep. drawing the double team and then getting open to the wide open man, getting it inside for Cavett's first goal of the game. I was surprised he... Uh, <laughs> He did it only on the double team. He usually draws a third or a fourth. Here comes the double, and he just did a nice job. And you know it's frustrating because you've either got to come and help or you got to stay on your man, and you hope that a guy can't get the ball over. But uh, Casey Powell knows when to get rid of it, and Cavett knows what to do with it. He took it low, and Loving, just at his mercy, gives up goal number seven. Down by five, another faceoff though. Formick trying to win the faceoff. He's now done a pretty solid job on yeah. that in this game. Seven to five, I think, in favor of uh, Army in the faceoff department. Mike Copa ends up with it. Rodriguez trying to strip from behind. Rodriguez gets tangled up with Copa. Two exchanging words and a couple of swings at one another, and the ball and procedure call will go to Syracuse. So the Orange up by five, seven two. Rob Cavett, as we saw, scoring that goal. He's now one and two in the game so far. Two assists. Syracuse in a good amount of control. Smiley's pass though, just too high. A little sloppy <laughs> for, Cav or for Ira Vanderpool, who was open right in front of his own bench. Smiley must have thought he was the same size. <laughs> Smiley about 6'6 or so. As you said, pushing 6'7. Lets it go, and Vanderpool couldn't track it down, so turnover. Syracuse. Cross it handles. Long pass downfield. Long pass, and he's got Works. his man McCormick. Got by Matt Alexander. Again, Army in the offensive end. This guy's been shut down completely. This yeah. game, Rob Manning from West Tennessee. Came in with 137 career points, ninth all-time at Army. 27 goals, nothing today. How about Brostek also? They've done a good job on him. 42 goals for Brostek coming in. He's been shut down. A couple of great saves by Gebhardt. Yeah, right. On Dan Brostek have kept the zeros in his scoring column so far in this game. 
Manning behind the cage. Denver oh. on him. Bad pass. Chad Hadlock can't bring that one down. It's out of bounds. These, uh, the, the, what are these sticks got sometimes? If you, especially if you have the uh, more traditional, you don't have the web. You have the, Those things will sag, and uh, you got to be careful that they don't sag too far. You can get a legal stick call, but right now, Smiley will have the ball. Well, if you're Jack Emery, hate to see that, though. Team down by five, under 10 minutes to go, and a bad pass in the own offensive zone. Yeah. The dreaded turnover, especially late in the game like this. Smiley far side. Doesn't want his Syracuse career to end. Poke checked away for the moment. Comes right to Gebhardt. Going to be double team. Good job to get that one away. Kobe Price finds Vanderpool. Who takes a big hit at midfield? McCormick laid into him. Ball still loose on the far side. Both teams battling for it. Finally a whistle as Doyle scraps for the ball on that far sideline. They were really going after that on that far sideline. That's going to be... Ryan McCormick uh, Dale had Ira Vanderpool in his sights. Yes, he did. Lined up, and he just missed a full-fledged hit. Off, off the orange mat of bounds is Elmont's Matt Doyle battling on that far side. Could not come up with it. And here's Ross Shremsky. Rolling down toward nine minutes to go in the fourth. Syracuse, the five-goal lead today over Army. Trying to advance to a matchup with... Dave Klarman's North Carolina Tar Heels. And we saw Coach Klarman here at the press box today. A little talk with him upstairs. Yeah, scout in the game. He wants to see who he's going to be up against next week at Rutgers. Stremski will work off for Brian Pavlik, top of the box. Toby Price stays in on defensive mid. He's done a good job on midfield today. Some good hits. Stremski trying to get free for his third goal. Can't. Pavlik can't handle that ball. Price, look out. Toby Price got some size and speed. Great ground ball player, and that's why, Dale, as he tries to scoop <laughs> that one up. I'm trying to give the guy praises, and he that's overruns the ball. Sin. Mike well, Copa instead regains for Army. Unsettled for Syracuse. Too high for Yastrzemski, top of the box. And it goes all the way back into the SU offensive zone, run down by Brendan Sheehan. You know, I don't know if it's fatigue. They didn't have this much problem with the ball in the first three quarters, but uh, it has been sloppy here. Loving in his own crease area. Outlets to Sheehan. Nearly picked off by Jackson, who's in his face. Yeah, and the call's going to go against the Army Cadets. What a job by Doug Jackson pressuring the ride. One man band, wasn't he? And so far, just the clear attempts have totally gone awry in this game for Army. Timeout is called with 7.56. Army has not been able to get the ball out of their own defensive zone with any kind of organization. And it's just killed them time after time in this game. Especially in this, uh, in this fourth quarter when perhaps they're pressing a little bit, knowing that they're down by five goals, that uh, you know, they've got to try to come up with the big play, and it has, has hurt them. On the other hand, of course, Syracuse can afford to take their time and just kind of uh, do something that uh, has been done to them, just slow it down a little bit. Roy Simmons Jr. with a 7-5 and five career record against Army. The Orange have not matched up with the Cadets since back in 1988. That was a 19-8 win. Believe it or not, Army leads the series overall 37-10, but that goes way back to yeah. the pre-NCAA tournament days. Cadets actually won several national titles before the organized tournament was put into effect in the 60s and 70s. Before so many other schools took up lacrosse exactly. and uh, did it seriously, and that's, uh, that's been, a I don't want to say a problem, it's great for lacrosse, but you know now you're competing against a lot of other schools who uh, used to get the talent and keep it and divide it amongst 10 or 12 schools. Now you've got uh, you know 15 or 20 schools that are not just playing, but playing very, very well and can uh, can challenge just about anybody. So that's uh, that's great for the sport of lacrosse. Hall of Fame coach Roy Simmons Jr. for the Orange. 266 and 89 is 26th year <laughs> on the SU Hill. Amazing, there isn't are the it? scores so far. Very close after one, just a one nothing SU lead. Up by four at the end of the half. And that is as close as Army has gotten in the second half. Now down by five, seven two game with 7.56 to go in the fourth. SU off that great defensive play on the ride defense. Play made by Doug Jackson. He triggers play in after a timeout. Matt Doyle being watched by Crossett. Doyle has burned him one time with a low bounce shot. That Dale recommended he take. Must have listened to you. <laughs> All right. Put it right on net. Matt Doyle makes a move. Shooting, that one goes wide of loving again. Released it just a second too late because Cross it, able to recover and get across on the back of Doyle on his stick just as he released the shot and trickled wide. I talked to Jack about 
how much Cable was going to play. He says, well, you'll see a lot of them. We have seen a lot of them. He started and has played much of this game and done a great job for the Cadets. Carcaterra works for Kataya. Now Kataya from Homer, relatively close to Ithaca here. Halfway between Syracuse and Ithaca. A lot of fans and friends here watching the game. Good effort in front, but a crease violation against the Orange Men is Doug Jackson from JD High School made a dive. Made a couple of nice spin moves before he had that attempt, but an obvious crease violation call against the junior. Gary Gatish kind of move. If you can pull that off. That's right. Avoid the violation. Doesn't happen much. Seven minutes and counting as the rain now starting to pick up a little bit. <laughs> like it needed to. Boy, what a day we've had here. Chris Serrano, long stick defensive midi. One of the team leaders in ground balls, and as we said, he can score. He's got nine goals this year. Ryan Cummings says none of that. Serrano still with it. Playing with that big stick down sure there. Sure is. He's going to stick around for Looking a while. For his tenth goal. Poked Trip. away from behind. Oh, good. Great job by Ryan Cummings, and he'll get the outlet pass from Gebhardt. Nottingham's Ryan Cummings up ahead. Tried the feed from Morrissey off his cross, and that one out of bounds, a turnover against the Orange, but 6.21 to go. Syracuse a healthy five goal lead. This is what Army has struggled at so much in this game. As Manning crosses the midfield line, gotta watch out they're not offside. And the right amount of players over the midfield stripe. Rob Manning works for Chad Hadlock. Bad pass, Manning yep. wasn't even looking for that one. Rourke Denver stepped in to pick it off. Good break for the Orange, but sloppy play on the offensive end by Army has been a big key in the second half, Dale. No doubt about it. Yep. That could be offside. Yeah. White's off. White's off, yep. And Alexander crossing Alexander, the line. Alexander, yeah, just got his foot over. Too they many players in the offensive zone. Well, they said there were four back there, the mm -hmm. Syracuse coaching staff, but uh, they didn't see it that way. Oh, unmolested here so Mike far. Copa bringing in left-handed oh. shot. Save again by Jason Gebhardt one more time. Why not, that's, huh? That's just going to say. That's what a tremendous game justice. the sophomore goalie from West Jenny has had in this one. With 5.36 to go, stops Copa point blank. About 10 feet out, left wing. Syracuse done a much better job with the organized clear to get it out of the defensive zone. Jamie LeMessure from CBA. There you go. Crosses to... Number 22, Casey Powell, a Carthage Comet. Casey in, shot that one just wide, looking for the hat trick. And Loving not tested as Casey Powell got a great feed from LeMessure and a lot of space to work with, Dale. He had a lot of real estate. Yep. You're Jack Emmer, that's the last thing you want to see, number 22 with a full head of steam. And the ball in his cross. Carcaterra, top of the box, works on his opposite, number 19, and lands for Army. Going down to five minutes now. In the fourth, Syracuse a comfortable lead, trying to extend it to six. Matt Doyle. You can hear the squeaks of the yes. shoes out there, the turf shoes. Specialty footwear brought in by the Orangemen today to try to overcome the really slick conditions at Sholkoff. It's an older AstroTurf field. It's a lot of work with Cornell soccer, Cornell football in the fall. Almost like some men out there. Kataya gets open and scores right side. Matt Kataya from Homer able to beat the goalie Travis Loving on a nice feed from Jim Morrissey. And the Orangemen now have extended that lead to 6 8 2 with 4.33 to go in the fourth. Great play. Absolutely. Just a quick pass and then back right away into the cage. And Syracuse pushes it to 6 in the lead department. 4.33 left, and they have played very, very well defensively, but they've gotten a big boost. Syracuse has, obviously, from Gebhardt. The 6'1", 195-pound freshman from Homer, Kataya gets his 11th goal of the year. He's now 11-0 this season. Very quick release on a great feed from Morrissey. McCormick into the offensive end, has some room. Ryan McCormick shoots and scores! Gets a goal for Army, seconds after Kataya giving the Orangemen that six goal lead. Third goal of the game and the first time Ross Jastrzemski has not scored today for the Army Cadets. McCormick gets his third of the year. Well, now right back to the faceoff circle where you can make a big difference. You're gonna see the end of this as 
He's able to get kind of open, actually, all the way down the field. Nobody picked him up, and uh, he was able to, McCormick put it in, but now the faceoff is very, very important now for momentum. Let's see, Toby Price, yes, Toby off Price with it. win it, full out of steam, brings it to the offensive end. Cavett thought about a shot, spin shoots that one just wide of loving. The thing that makes Rob Cavett so dangerous, Dale, is he can go left and mm -hmm. right with equal strength. He is a great player. One of the best stick handlers Syracuse has ever had. Cavett in front, open shot. That one stopped by Loving. This time he smothers it. And the outlet pass has given him such trouble in this game. This time goes to Joe Whaley. This is where Army has really been hurt in the second half. Inability to get into the offensive zone. Jastrzemski trying to feed a cutter. Pavlik there had it broken up. Comes right back to Ross Jastrzemski. 343 and counting in the fourth. Toby Price helping double team Jastrzemski. Good job from McCartan who came over to help. Open man, oh. Gebhardt comes up big on Brostick as he stones him one more time. Can you believe Jason Gebhardt today? Outlet to Fotopoulos at midfield. That was a great feed to Brostick on the one-time play. Fotopoulos thinking shot. Instead he feeds just one hair behind Jeff Lowe. Couldn't get the shot off. That puts him up to 20 saves, by the way. The magic uh, double figures for Gebhardt. Great job. Rolling down over three minutes. Syracuse content here to settle down with a five-goal lead. No reason to rush. No, none. Cavett watched by number 46, Joe Whaley. Gets decked and a late <laughs> penalty a flag is dropped. Oh. Technical 30 yeah. push call against Whaley, number 46. That's got to be a little frustration at this point as we're under three minutes. And Army has played very hard in this game. Got to give him credit for staying alive. And keeping pace with the Orangemen for most of the afternoon, but does not look like they'll have enough. Here's the look. Here's the push, and uh, Syracuse will get another opportunity. They're one for two so far, man up situations, so penalties have not been a big part of this game. You see Cavett still keeping the ball alive despite getting pushed out of bounds. That right. was incredible. And deck by Whaley, who sits out for the 30. Technical push. Carcaterra lost it, didn't know where it was, and Serrano ends up with it. His outlet pass, though, not there, and Fotopoulos picks up for Syracuse. Just can't get the organized play into the offensive end, and Casey Powell. A couple of goals for number 22. Saves, there they are by quarters. What a second quarter Jason Gebhardt had. Yeah. Nine stops. He has been amazing. Syracuse with it. Doyle wide, scores! Matt Doyle gets his second of the game as he was able to crank from the right wing and beats Loving, and that'll pretty much salt this one away with 2.14 to go. It was just about over before that. Now I don't think there's any doubt Orangeman will advance to Rutgers next week to play North Carolina. Just a real hard low shot, and Loving has played a good game too for Army. They have really, they, I think they had a great game plan when they got down to it, Syracuse. Came out with a, also a good game plan, was patient and able to do what they wanted. Toby Price trying to win the face off. Rob Cavett now, Dale, is one and four in this game. Four assists. Doyle, two goals in the game, 17 for the season. And Syracuse again with a ball. Unsettled situation. Morrissey in scores! Jim Morrissey gets another goal for the Syracuse team. Now giving the Orange with a seven goal lead. First of the game for the senior tri-captain from Scanny Atlas. Yeah, just a little bit of icing on the cake as they catch him in an unsettled situation and everybody plays off and he just accelerates and is able to beat Loving low with a left-handed shot. But Syracuse also had some tough assignments coming in defensively and they shut off. Brostek. One of the, lead, the leading scorer for Army. 34 goals for Jim Morrissey this year. Came in with 22 assists as well, which is number one on the team in scoring ahead of Rob Cavett. But Rob has regained the lead with his five-point effort today. That pass in the defensive zone again thrown away. Loving couldn't handle it from Serrano, and we'll go right back to the orange. You can tell Army has improved considerably in the last two or three years. Last year they we're not a tournament team, and now they have made the tournament and have given Syracuse the first half of real tough game. So Syracuse takes a timeout with 140 left. Might be a chance for Roy Simmons Jr. to get some of those younger players in the game here. You guys who may not see a lot of action and a chance for them to 
experience NCAA playoff game action. The Orange been with us, big lead, 10-3 with a minute 40 to go. Syracuse will win its 10th game of the year against those three losses. They move on to Carolina. There's the turnovers, 49-41. Some of those for Army were clearing passes. And uh, as you mentioned a couple of times, they did have some problems with that at different times and gave Syracuse a number of opportunities. And when they had the opportunities, as we said before, I can't say too many times, Gebhardt was there to stop them. Just a fantastic game for Jason Gebhardt. See the small attendance getting smaller today at Shulkoff <laughs> after the last goal scored by Morrissey. A lot of folks said, I'm folding up the umbrella and getting dry now. No, there were two near drownings. I think that was the... <laughs> but you got to give those folks credit. Look at the shots for Syracuse. They pepper the net. 50-35 over Army. And of course, we'd be remiss. Yes. Not thanking all the Adelphia Super Sports crew. What a great job they've done. Hours of setup time. Two games. Two games. Yeah. Yesterday was all right for them, but today, you. 10-3 game, just a minute, 23 to go. Jeff Lowe, freshman from Liverpool. We know about his double duty. Funny story with Jeff Lowe was he had just finished the Syracuse football practice, spring practice, and was late to the Cornell game here at the same stadium. So he and his dad, Don Lowe, the head trainer for Syracuse, had to come to a security guard. Jeff was not dressed and ready to go. And the security guard wouldn't let him in. Is that right? Yeah. He had his uniform in another bag with a team on the bench. So they had to do a little bit of convincing that, in fact, Jeff Lowe was a member of the SU lacrosse team. It was well into the game. Security guard didn't believe him. <laughs> I was talking with Don Lowe the other day about that. Very funny story. Well, I can see why I wouldn't let Don in. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jeff Lowe was eventually admitted by the security man here at Cornell and played in SU's big win over the Big Red. That's a that's tough duty playing football and lacrosse. There's two sports you can get a whacked at. <laughs> one with a stick and uh, one with a helmet. He's got it. Jim Morris, he starts things off, scored his first goal of the game. Almost good. to seal the deal here. Just 40 ticks left. And the Orange advance off to the second round. One time play in front. Syracuse and LaMessure trying to squeeze off a quick shot. That one put wide. 35 seconds left. Army had a lot of confidence today coming into this game. The coaches we talked to felt they had a great chance as Cavett just juking and jiving his way out in front for another easy goal. Bounces one by Loving. Rob Cavett, a huge game today. Two goals, four assists for six points. Well, this is this is a tough time for Army. They got to, they know they're out of it. And now you got uh, a little bit of uh, good shooting there. That's tough to stop. Dave Cross would try to come over late to help, but the double team not nearly in time. Great move by Sheehan. Andy Rodriguez wins the faceoff. Cavett behind the back feet. Shot goal, Doug Jackson left side. Holy mackerel. That was a blazing, blistering laser beam shot from the left wing, and the Orangemen now really pouring it on with 20 seconds left. That was bing bang, wasn't it? Second goal Second of the game goal. for DJ. Wow, is that a smoker? Loving never saw that one. I think Travis is going to remember the end of this game when the Orangemen really poured it on here to take a big nine-goal lead. Five assists for Cavo. Rob Calvitt is two and five in this game. And believe it or not, that's not the season high for assists for an Orangeman. Casey Powell against Penn was two and seven, which is one of the best efforts all year long in terms of point total for an individual player. Just 10 seconds left, 12-3 game. Syracuse looking to make the final four for the 14th year in a row. Every year they've had it, but it won't be easy next week, Dale, against no. North Carolina. A very good team. And Coach Dave Klarman is going to bring his scouting report back to Chapel Hill. That shot put late by Gebhardt. Not there. Jason Gebhardt and Rob Cavett, two big stars in this game. And the Orangemen win to advance off to the next round, the national quarterfinals. Head coach Roy Simmons Jr. takes another victory. Career win number 267, the star of the game on defense. Jason Gebhardt, Dale, what a job he did all day long in turning aside the Army. Saves 21 for him on the day. When they had a chance to, to maybe get something going, Army did. He stopped him, and that's a, that's a real good 
psychological boost for the defense, and he kept him in it the whole game. Thoughts quickly on playing North Carolina next week. Syracuse got to play like they did today. Good basic defense, and if you got a hot goalie, as I said, then you got to be uh, you got to be in real good shape. But I'm sure they're very happy with the way that Gebhardt played and the whole defense. All right, a 12-3 final score. Syracuse now 10 and 3 in the season. Next week they'll play down in New Jersey at Rutgers University. They'll take on North Carolina. Now for my broadcast partner Dale Drypoll, through the entire Super Sports crew. This is Dave Wright saying so long from Shoalcott Field after a big SU win. <laughs>